what is up guys i am back with another makeup tutorial and this is it today it's a super i want to call it like a pixie like tinkerbell look <laughs> i thought i'd play around with some color um such as pink and i did like a half cut crease and i did some little stars and just a glossy lip so i hope you guys really enjoy this video as per usual check the description box down below for all the product products that i use in this video linked for you guys also check out my social media twitter snapchat and instagram everything is done in uv as per usual check it out all that good stuff give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see some more colorful looks and of course leave me a comment down below telling me what you want to see in the next video i'm really excited for you guys to see this i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time bye Alright guys, so we're going to start off with priming our lids. So I'm just using a MAC paint pot. Um, I don't know which one this is. I just wanted to use it up because it was drying out. And then I'm just going to cover it with some loose powder before we go in with our first color. And this one is from Makeup Geek and it's called Fashion Addict. It's a really nice warm pink. And we're just going to take any fluffy brush. This one is a Smashbox brush I got in a set. And we're just going to start putting it all over our crease area so this is just going to go everywhere I'm basing it on the from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner and you'll see me like really buff in the color in the inner corner because we do want qu quite a lot of color there because when we cut the crease we want some shadow there to show so I was just buffing out the edges and then going back with some more color. You can see I'm going in that inner corner. The second shadow we're using again from Makeup Geek and it's called Simply Marlena. And um, we're doing the same thing. I'm just using a different brush because I did my other eye first. I just needed the brushes to stay clean. So you can really, really use the same brush you used for the first shade because we just... Are going in with tons of pinks <laughs> so then I'm going in with love letter from the Anastasia modern Renaissance palette and this is just a shade darker again we're going from lightest to darkest and it's just gonna give us a nice deep pink and this is the last pink shade that we are using so you can use any pinks from light to dark you just need three shades to buff everything in and again doing the same thing but I'm also going on that outer corner to cover that area and then I'm going to clean out the edges again with a clean brush. I kept blending loads because you really have to keep it quite seamless. For the brow bone I wanted to have a shimmery brow bone so I'm going to highlight it with Vermeer again from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's a pinkish shimmer so it went really well and then I'm going to go in to cut the crease. So I love using a concealer for this. You can use any concealer you like. I'm using my Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer in the shade Banana and the brush I'm using is actually a brush that Jamie Genevieve used in one of her cut crease tutorials and it looked like it worked really well so I want to try it out and it's the Zoeva 226 and or a similar one I don't know if it was the exact same one but the shape was the same it has rounded edges so it really really helped and we're just cutting the crease into the center of the eye and then as you can see I just set it with a matte shadow and then I'm blending out those edges so with the same pink from the Anastasia palette love letter and then I wanted to add some shimmery something so I used these little stars I picked out the silver ones from the little pot that I had and I put three on the top there I thought it looked really cute a little festival ish but whatever all right so these lashes are from blinking beauty I'll leave them down below and um, then we're going on to the face. So I use the new Becca primer and the purple one. And then I'm using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation and Concealer. First time I'm using it. So I'll let you guys know what let you guys know what I think of it and then I'm buffing it in with this iconic London Eva brush this is brand new I actually did a snap snapchat takeover using this brush so that's why it's a bit bitty over here um but I really liked it, it buffed the foundation in really well I'm not sure what I think of the foundation yet but I'll let you guys know and then of course I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Light Medium and I absolutely love this concealer so much I will never stop using it. 
that's that's about it guys I, I mean that's all there is to say i love it so much so that's going in all the highlighting areas i'm going to buff it in with the second evo brush that they came out with they came out with two new ones and i really like it guys i'll let you guys know what i think of it in another tutorial when i use it more um so i'm just buffing everything in and then we're gonna just go in with some powder this is the new cover fx powder that i was talking to you guys about if you don't follow me on social media and on snapchat um i mentioned i picked this up and i really like it so i was using that on the under eyes and then i'm using a little bit a little bit of it all over my face on a fluffy brush then i'm gonna buff away that bakage under the eyes and we're gonna move on to the rest of the face of course so i'm using the new uh, palette that i got from tarte it's not new but for me it's new i if you haven't checked out my beauty haul it was the previous video go check it out and so I'm using those two sculpting shades and I used my NARS Eater brush a little on the cheekbones. Then I used the Morphe Fluffy brush that I normally use just to distribute more color. And then I'm using the same shades on my nose with the same Eater brush from NARS. And it's just going to give us a little contour. I didn't want too much on the cheeks, which is why I went in with a really light blush. And this is the Marc Jacobs Kink and Kisses blush. It's a nice pink shade and then i'm gonna mix love letter and a little bit of um fashion addict to put on the lower lashes lower lash line you know what am i doing today <laughs> i'm just using my 224 to buff everything in then i'm gonna spritz my face with some urban decay chill makeup setting spray i also put a little mascara on my lower lashes all right, so this is the Pro Glow palette from Tarte. I'm using that first shade over there for my nose, and I'm just using any fluffy brush that was clean. I'm putting that on my nose, of course, and of course, of course, of course, my cheekbones. I gotta give me some glow, but I didn't want the cheeks to be too heavy because the eyes are just so crazy. And so I want to keep everything else really neutral, including the lips. I'm just gonna line my lips. Of course, you guessed it, NYX eye pencil in light brown i use it as a lip pencil it's my go-to it's my everything and then i'm using sex part lipstick from bare minerals this is a new line they've come out with and i absolutely adore these lipsticks so much they have a shiny finish they're not matte they're not super opaque but i absolutely love them guys and then they also came out with glosses and this one is in the shade far out it's a super light pink nude it's super super light and i just topped it off and absolutely love it i wanted to keep everything really neutral because as we can see the eyes are crazy so i just added some freckles i thought it was really cute i felt like a pixie you know what i mean you don't have to do this but i hope you guys really enjoy this video as per usual everything is in the description box below for you guys please follow me on social media everything is done in a v i love you guys so much let me know what you think of this look i had fun creating it but i must say i'm a neutrals girl but this was really fun so i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you guys i'll see you in my next video and yeah have a good one bye